So I never wanted to be a teacher. Mm. It was nowhere on my radar. Mm -hmm. A friend called me and said, do you want to substitute teach at Xavier University Preparatory? Mm -hmm. Which I said, yes. Mm -hmm. All girls, African-American, which is kind of an outlier mm -hmm. to have a Catholic, all girls, mm -hmm. African-American school. And I fell in love. Mm -hmm. So the rest is just 26 years of history. Yeah. I went to um, all girls Catholic high school, mm -hmm. like so many people do here. And for three years, I was a mess. So that's why mm -hmm. I see my students in me. Like my grades mm -hmm. fluctuated. I was doing all kinds of stuff. I shouldn't have been doing. Went to a new school my senior year, mm -hmm. and the counselor told me, "She was like, you should probably think of a trade, like doing hair or nails, mm -hmm. because you'll never go to college, right? Like you, <laughs> <laughs> you'll never be college material." Oh. So when I went to prep, I was pregnant, working on my master's, and that counselor was on our accreditation committee. And I said, I don't know if you remember me. I said, really? She's like, what are you doing now? I said, I want to thank you. Mm. Because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be doing this now, right? Mm. And I reminded her what she said. And she was just speechless. Mm. I said, this is not to be mean or... Right. But, you know, we speak things into children every day. Mm. So when I work with kids and I ask them, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. I'll ask them, like, I'll ask them in the hallway. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask you over and over again. I don't ever want them to feel like they can't because they don't have the right resources. Mm -hmm. Like I had my parents, right? Mm -hmm. But what if I didn't have that? Mm -hmm. I always want them to know we're growing with them. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes them feel safe. Mm -hmm. You know, to, like I'm, I'm going through this too with you. Yeah. Kids are kids. Mm -hmm. Like wherever you go, mm -hmm. kids are kids. Mm -hmm. They all have the same needs. Mm -hmm. They all want to be seen. They all want to be safe. Mm -hmm. And they all want to be nurtured. Don't, that's what I want. Right. Because <laughs> it's, it's humanity. Yeah. And yeah. if you ever question your humanity, talk to a kid. Yeah. They will remind you. Why? Yeah. Poetry is not my ministry, mm -hmm. but I value what it does for students. Mm -hmm. Our students, I think it gives them an outlet because let's look at the IB curriculum. It's mm -hmm. very prescribed. Mm -hmm. High performing kids. Mm -hmm. So their stressors here on top of whatever's happening at home mm. gives them an outlet. And you know, you see kids walking around all the time with AirPods on, right? mm -hmm. they're always listening to music mm -hmm. and that's their outlet. Mm -hmm. So they all can't be musicians. Right. But everybody can be a poet mm -hmm. in their own right. Mm -hmm. So you don't understand the lesson. Maybe you should pay attention. But I... Oh, so you don't work at this speed? Not my fault you can't keep up with me. But I... Oh, so he touched you inappropriately? It must have been your fault, obviously. But I... My, so many butt eyes. Don't look at me with those eyes. You keep acting this way and don't end up in a rotting cell with the empty sound of the prison bell. You'll probably end up cellmates with your sister and your mother. Now go back in line and stop continuing to bother. All right, that's it, I'm done. But don't think that this means you won, for I'm going to do better, far better than you, and you'll be the one crying with no one listening to you. When I'm all the way at the top with things you can only dream of, I'll remind you of the things you told me, because I'm not out for revenge, for that is below me. Instead, I'll make a change and help innocent kids like me, create a new foundation and plant a new tree. Schools will no longer be a prison run by guards. I'll help the future generations learn the right way, empty of your bars. You're only as good as your opportunity and resources. Mm. So that's what I learned. That's what I try to teach them every day. Mm. Mm. I mean, look at Jasmine. Jasmine lost her dad mm -hmm. and it was traumatic. Mm. So when she came, she started coming back to school and she's a brilliant young woman. Mm. And when she did the Pathy mm -hmm. uh, scholarship and she said, I got into Notre Dame. And I said, you're gonna be fine. But she didn't believe me, right? Mm. Because she was worried about the rest. I was like, I'm telling you, mm. now she's going to number 15 in the country. Yeah. There's not a Notre Dame pub. <laughs> <laughs> All the things that they go through with the workshop with you. Mm -hmm. Just like, I had no idea what Lara was going to really talk about till this morning, yeah. right? And she touched a lot, whether it be uniform infractions or, and then Jasmine came with, and this is stuff that they've been holding in. Right. So just to have that safe place. To share it. Yeah, and they believe in social justice. Yeah. So I hope they take that spirit of justice through with them. Those poems these girls came with today, they were, they were and it ain't had nothing to do with the, right, right, like, it like they, me, because that poetry's not my ministry. <laughs> <laughs> but they've been writing, you know, yeah. they've been writing, and I just thought, I love that, and I love that we get to be privy to their first sort of public performance yes, you, of it. You I think they were captivated mm. when you spoke, you know, mm. when, and then when everything that you've shown them, now, because they are researchers. Yeah. I mean, every kid these days in their own right, because yeah. the whole world is in their hand. Yeah. So they've been looking, you know, following other poets, mm -hmm. so I'm excited for them. Me too. Me too. I think it opens things up. It does.